Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming back to our Java tutorials. Today we are going to pick up right where we left off before, which was jumping off of the theory of pseudocode, moving into the actual application. What I'm going to do is show you a very, very quick demonstration of pseudocode, how we can apply it, what it should look like, and how it should be uh, when we're all finished with it. So I'm going to show you a very very simple program right now and then we'll build onto this for the next one we'll build onto that for the next one after that here we go let's dive right into this you can see that i have uh, notepad plus plus open right now this is my preferred text editor when i am messing around with uh, uh with with pseudocodes but uh, if you are not messing around with pseudocode and you're messing with the actual code, definitely use the appropriate IDE. So we're going to start by giving our program a name. Remember, in the uh, Java castle, we are giving our, uh, our, our, our program a name, our castle a name here, right? So we, we do that by calling it class, and then we're going to say, oh, we'll say class uh, a random number. Uh, oh, not, not random number. We'll say uh, class uh, number basic operation. Right, that's a very boring name for our castle, but that's what we're calling it, darn it. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is create a main class right down here. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and uh, go ahead and polish off our uh, castle by adding our other end of uh, other, other end of our walls there. Oh, no, front parentheses for that, great. And then we say end class. So just like that, guys, we have a, we have a castle built. We have our uh, castle moat right there with class and uh, end class and then here we have our main method and a return method which are basically like our castle walls uh, pretty cool so far uh, but there's nothing going on nothing exciting inside the uh, inside the castle yet so what do we want to do we want to make some declarations we want to put things in our castle and the first thing we want to do is create a variable let's call a variable a num and we'll say num uh, first number right and we'll say num uh, oops uh, second number now just let me show you a couple things with what i just put there okay first of all in the class name notice how this is capitalized right here this is something that will carry over into java so make sure that the first now uh, the, the first letter of this is capitalized class number basic operation right that first one is capitalized right and then notice how at the bottom here uh we have this camel case thing going on we have lower and then we have upper Right, that's very important. Make sure that you put these in the right way. That way, our code knows what it's talking about. Right, and that way we know. That way, our uh, IDE rather knows what we're talking about. Um, now, let's take a close look at some of the other variables down here. This is uh, num and first number right there. Num first number, num second number. Right. Notice that these are camel case as well. Okay. <clears throat> so. Uh, this is first, uh, it's all lowercase, number uh, is suddenly uh, uppercase with the, with the number there, right? Now, important for you to note is that uh, to Java and really to any programming language, uh, this number, uh, this variable and this variable are not the same thing. They mean two completely different things, right? Uh, this is a different variable than this one. So we can't use this instead of this, and that's why case really matters, right? So when you're writing programs, make sure that your case matters. Make sure your case is where it should be, what it should be, right? Now, we only want two variables for our very simple program here, which is first number and second number, right? So. Uh, very cool so far, very cool so far. Uh, what we're going to do is then uh, do some uh, basic operations with it, right? So let's go ahead and uh, create uh, a num another, uh, another variable for us. We'll say uh, num product, right? Uh, and then we'll say num, I don't know, we'll leave it product, we'll say product, that's it. We'll just leave it a product right now. And then better yet, Better yet, we'll say sum, <laughs> right? Taking this very old school, right? Making this very simple num sum, right? Pretty easy, right? Uh, those are our declarations. We just created our zombies, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, values for these variables. Get values for uh, these variables. Perfect. Uh, and we'll have some output. We'll say, uh, hey, dude. Uh, looks like you have a number there. Looks like you have a number there. What is it? Right? <clears throat> All right, what is it? Then we're gonna have an input statement here. Input first 
number. And if you look, uh, the text editor will actually want to sub that out for you. So we'll say first number, you can press enter, it'll auto complete for you too, uh, which is very nice, very nice feature, cool. Uh, output, hey dude, uh, capital dude this time, <laughs> now we'll keep it consistent. Uh, hey dude, uh, looks like you have another number there. What is that one? And I'll go ahead and fix my uh, minuscule typo up here. I don't know why I why I did that like I did, but that's okay. Bang, there we go. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll say input uh, second number. And then just because I like to keep things without so many commas, uh, this is kind of a point of contention between me and some other programmers. But uh, in this case, we will say uh, input second number, input first number. Beautiful. And it says output. Dude, wow, you've got great numbers. <laughs> Let's do something fun with them. Right? So what we're going to do now is what's called processing, right? Uh, processing, right? Which you can do that way or you can do that way. It doesn't really matter. Um, either way, it should be fine. Uh, sometimes if you get carried away with your uh, enters and tabs and returns and things, that will happen, but that's quite all right too. So uh, processing. Now we're going to do something magic with those numbers, right? So what we are going to do is go ahead and put our third variable there, which is sum equal to first number plus second number okay very easy very 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 a lot of uh, a lot of uh, math magic happening there right uh great so then we're gonna say output using magic i'm going to i'm going to declare that the sum of your numbers is now here's where it changes up a little bit. We're not going to put, you know, the exact. We're not, we're not going to put a second number here yet, or sum yet. We're not going to do that yet. Instead, what we're going to do is put a plus sign, right? So put a plus sign right there, and we say sum, right? And if you want to add a period, you can add a period there too if you want. But that's it. Uh, and then just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, we have the uh, end of our end of our very first very complicated program here, right? So. Uh, let's walk through it again. We have class number basic operation. Notice capitalization there. Notice that we have all three uh, words there uh, smushed together. Um, notice how this is not this. Uh, that's very important that we squeeze these words together. Uh, we want this all to be read as just one word like that. Java doesn't know what a space is. So uh, class number basic operation. Uh, or we might say class. We don't even change this. What do we want to change this to? Uh, class adding two numbers right uh, generally you want to make your class name very apparent to what you're actually doing you want to make your class name uh, very relevant to what you're doing uh, main will never change it'll always be main uh, so we have class and end class down below that looks great return and main yes so we have our moat around our castle we have our walls around the castle we created our zombies here created our village people here uh three variables number first number number second number number third third number or number sum um these are all num numeric data types they are not uh so they're not string data types they're numeric value that values which is fine and dandy uh, we have uh, get values for these variables. Absolutely. Output. Hey, dude, looks like you have a number there. What is it? Right? The computer's asking, hey, man, what number is that first number? And hopefully, uh, whoever we're giving this program to writes in a number there. Right. Hey, dude, looks like you have another number there. What is that one? Right. So what is this one? What is that one? That's the second number. Right. So we have two variables. It says, dude, wow, you've got great numbers. Let's do something fun with them. Right. And then we're going to do our processing. Right. So sum is going to equal first number plus the second number. Right, uh, output using magic, I'm going to declare that the sum of your numbers is, and then we're gonna add our sum variable right there. Now, I mean, we declared our sum variable right here. First and second number equals sum, right? This could very easily say x plus y equals z. Z then becomes this value. We put z right there, okay? Now, z is gonna display out to the reader whatever these numbers happen to add up to. Um, but that's essentially what we're doing here. Output. Using magic, I'm going to declare that the sum of your numbers is plus sum, plus that sum variable. After that, we are finished with our program. Very cool, guys. Thanks for watching. That is the end of this basic tutorial on uh, pseudocode in Java.